Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is lecture series 7, Non-Conventional Energy Sources Dealing with Solar Collectors. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So what is Solar Collectors? Solar Collectors is nothing but it is a device that is used to collect the solar radiation. So generally the solar collectors is divided into two, one is concentrating collectors and flat plate or non-concentrating collectors. Then further concentrating collectors is divided into focusing type and non-focusing type collectors. So in non-concentrating type, what happens is the area of the observer. So when the solar radiation is falling on the earth surface, it is observed that there is a particular amount of radiation observed and particular amount of radiation scattered. So, in non-concentrating collectors, the area of the observer will be equal to the area of the collector. So, when it is equal, it is said that the radiation is not focused. So, the maximum temperature that is achieved in this type will be around 100 degrees Celsius. But when concentrating collectors is considered, the area of the observer is very small compared to the area of the collector. So, maybe 50 to 100 times smaller than the area of the collector. So, as a result, what happens is there is a less loss of heat and also the radiation is focused at one point. So the maximum temperature achieved will be 350 degrees Celsius. So based on that we have divided each of the solar collectors into different types. Now seeing the principle of solar energy conversion to heat, how the solar energy is converted to heat. So we obviously know it is because of greenhouse effect. So here you can see that, sorry, you can see that the principle on which the solar radiation is converted into heat is nothing but your greenhouse effect. So the name is derived from the first application of greenhouses like where it is possible to grow vegetation in cold climate. So better utilization of and availability of sunlight is available. So the solar radiation that is incident, the solar radiation that is incident on the earth's surface at a particular wavelength, it increases the surface temperature of the earth. So because of that, what happens? The difference in the temperature between the earth's surface, the difference in the temperature across the earth's surface and the surroundings, the absorbed radiation is re-radiated back to the atmosphere with particular wavelength. So because of that, the CO2 gases in the atmosphere is transparent to the incoming shorter wavelength. Right. So as a result, what happens? The long wavelength radiation get reflected back. So see long wavelength get reflected repeatedly between the Earth's atmosphere and Earth's surface. So because it is keep on reflecting on the surface and the atmosphere, the temperature across the Earth's surface is keep on increasing, which is because of your greenhouse effect. So you can tell that this is a principle by which the solar energy is converted to thermal, right? In flat plate collector, so for that you have a example called as flat plate collector, where this flat plate collector is nothing but the absorber plate, which is, a, this is the absorber plate, black absorber plate. You can see black absorber plate here. So this is a black metal plate, which is absorbing the radiation that is incident on the glass cover. So the temperature of the uh, absorber plate will be increasing and it begins to emit some radiation where the wavelength of that radiation will be on the longer side. So that long wavelength radiation, it will block from the glass covers, which acts like a CO2 layer in the atmosphere. And this repeated reflection of radiation between the covers and the plate will result in the rise of temperature in the absorber plate. Right. So here you can see that this flat plate collector, it is made up of complete of wood or plastic. 
complete area you can tell that it is 2 meter into 1 meter into 15 centimeter. So here the casing insulator is provided at the bottom to check. So this is the casing insulator that is provided at the bottom which is going to check the heat transfer, conductive heat transfer. And the uh, mineral wool, uh, glass wool or fiberglass, these are uh, some uh, insulators that is acting. So above this insulator, you can see the absorber plate that is fixed. So this absorber plate is made up of uh, some copper or aluminium, which is a good conductor. So it is coated with black. Why it is coated with black is to increase its absorption property. So usually this black coating is done by some chemical treatment. So for allowing the maximum absorption of radiation and minimum amount of emission. So these plates are made up of same materials as that of the absorber plate and sometimes the plate itself is bent to form some tubes. So here you can see some fluid tubes. So these tubes, the heat absorbing medium will be circulated, that is the water. So that water will be circulated. So this medium will completely absorb the heat from the plates and the tubes and its temperature will keep on rising. So this medium will absorb the heat from the plates and the tubes and its temperature keeps on rising and this is the way the solar energy is collected as a heat energy. Above the absorber plate, you can see that the glass covers are provided, transparent skin glass covers are provided. So these glass cover will help to bring out the greenhouse effect so that the complete efficiency of the collector will be increased on one side. So this is what the flat plate collector means. So with this flat plate collector, you can prevent the loss of radiation by reflection. So if you have understood the complete construction of flat plate collector, uh, how the solar energy is converted to heat energy and the basics of solar collectors. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.